The next item I'm going to share with you would be my little tools. The tools that I use are in here. I got this little box from out of the dollar section at Target. It's in this little box, I just have my cuticle nippers, my favorite, favorite pair of um, nail clippers. This particular nail clipper is the best nail clipper I've ever owned. My husband got it for me and it is so sharp that when it cuts, it cuts clean, even, and nice. One clip and your nail is completely severed. It's just the best nail clipper ever. Then I keep like tweezers in here, my tweezerman tweezers, a pair of little um, shears or uh, scissors, and then a big boy nail clipper for my toenails and my husband's toenails. <laughs> So the next thing I want to share with you, when I do my nail art, um, the tape that I like to use is this painter's tape. The reason why I like to use the painter's tape is because it seems like when I use regular tape, sometimes I will get bleeding underneath the tape and I cannot stand that because it ruins the designs when you're trying to create nice, clean, crisp lines. And I find with this painter's tape, um, that does not happen to me and you can pick this up at your local hardware store for like two or three dollars And I just keep it in my nail drawer Next items I want to share with you would be my favorite three cuticle pushers This one here I use on my toes and it's the one that's metal and it's double-sided This cleans up your toenails so nicely and it's durable and strong I've only had I've had this one for at least a year plus and so this one is amazing um, this one is the rubberized cuticle pusher and I use this very gently around my cuticles and just to push my cuticles back. Now when I'm cleaning my cuticles and actually removing my cuticles using my Sally Hansen's cuticle remover, I will use this wood one because it's very gentle and it gets the trick done and it works very well with the cuticle remover. Also you can toss these out and just pick up another one and I have like a little bag and I think that little bag cost me like two dollars. But I use this exclusively on my nails when I am using my cuticle remover and I'm going to get in there and really clean around the cuticles, I will use this one. So these are my favorite three cuticle pushers. So the next two items I wanna share with you are my favorite cleanup brushes. Whenever you're doing nail art design and you're using like a striper brush or just whatever you're doing your nails in general and you might get a little bit on your skin and you need to clean it up, these two little brushes get the job done. So what I will do is take my little cup here Put a little bit of acetone or fingernail polish remover in here and then use these brushes dip them in there and clean up around the nail and this these two little brushes are they fit perfect they fit perfectly into like the sides of my nails where i want to clean up they're, these two brushes are great and they're both elf brushes and this one here would be an eyeliner brush and it's just the one that's straight across and then the second one is the concealer brush by e.l.f. This is what it looks like right here. And so these are my favorite two brushes and I keep them in my kit and they are definitely beat up because of the acetone but I think these things are ingenious because they really get the fingernail polish off in one swipe and they're stiff and sturdy exactly what you need to kind of wiggle in there and get the nail polish all cleaned up. Okay, so on to my favorite cotton balls. These cotton balls here are amazing. They're by uh, Face Secrets and I picked them up at Sally's and they are the jumbo cotton balls and you get 70 in a bag and they are like um, $2.50. Why I absolutely adore these cotton balls is because they are so dense and they're very large compared to, let me get a smaller one so I can show you. So I keep my small cotton balls in this, so I'm going to show you the difference between the two. 
Okay, so here is a traditional medium size or what drugstore is considered to be large cotton balls. And then here are the Faith Secret cotton balls. Why I absolutely adore these cotton balls is because the cotton is coiled so nicely and I can put just a little bit of fingernail polish on this cotton ball and it soaks it up and then I can apply it to each of my nails without having to worry about runoff onto my skin or onto my cuticles and it cleans it up so nicely and it catches all of the nail polish when you're trying to remove it. So these are my favorite cotton balls and they fit perfectly over my eyes too. I use them on my eyelids to remove my mascara and eyeliner also. So these are fabulous. And for $2.50 and you get 70 and they're extremely large I think that's a really good deal. Okay, so on to my favorite um, acetone or fingernail polish removers. My two favorite are both um, acetone fingernail polishes. This one here is by Target. You get this large bottle for like $3 and I swear by this acetone. This acetone is so super strong and this one I believe is the maximum strength one and it says it, it removes gel nail polish, glitter and artificial nails. This is so super strong it gets all my glitter nail polish off I do have to really work at getting the glitter nail polish off but I noticed when I use this particular brand Target brand acetone fingernail polish remover um, I don't have to work as hard as others that I've tried so this is like my favorite my next favorite nail polish remover would be by Beauty Secrets I picked it up from Sally's and it is an acetone nail polish remover and it looks like this and it has wheat proteins in it and also vitamin E the price point on this is fairly decent it's like three or four dollars for this size bottle and I think they also sell a larger bottle um, but this is the bottle that I always get and I absolutely adore this bottle because it's child proof so my son and my daughter cannot get into it so that's always a plus also what's really nice about this fingernail polish remover is that it is even though it is an acetone nail polish remover, it has a fragrance to it, so it's not like overwhelmingly like a strong chemical smell. But it doesn't matter, whenever I do my nails, I always keep my room ventilated. I turn the fan on, I open the windows if I can, and make sure the doors are open, so that way I'm in a well ventilated area. But nevertheless, the smell on this is pleasant. It's not just like overwhelming like this one here. And I'll show you what both of these look like up close. So this is the Target brand nail polish one that I like. And this is what it looks like. And then this one here is the Beauty Secrets one that I picked up from Sally's. So I want to share a few of the things that I use to design my nails. The first things are stickers. I absolutely adore this. Whoever thought of this is just ingenious because they are so easy to use. If you don't have a lot of time, you can pop these on, file your nails down, and be out the door. It's just effortless, and there's no, you don't have to wait for them to dry and all that stuff. They're just really great, and they last about five days. And they have the market on these. The designs are just absolutely fabulous. And right now, Revlon has some out that I absolutely adore. And I'll show you my favorite out of this. And this one is my favorite because I have a pair of earrings that I'm going to pair with these. And I'll show you what this looks like up close. So here's the design on the side. And then here is the design up close. These are just fabulous and I have a, like a whole tray of different ones that I like to use and some of them are themed and holiday themed and whatnot. Another cool idea is when you don't have a lot of time and you want to just do your fingernails and you don't want your manicure just to be flat, you want to add something to your nails, you can kind of bejewel them. And my favorite 3D charms are by Kiss, and you can pick these up at Walgreens. Um, and they're like $5, and they come with their own little glue stick, so it's a little set for $5. The charms in here are so, so cute. You get flowers, you get um, rhinestones, little diamonds, bows, candy, um, 
popsicles fruit. This is just the cutest little invention. And I just do a plain fingernail polish and then I will pop a couple of these on my nails and it adds so much interest. People constantly say, oh my gosh, your nails are so cute. Where did you get that or who does your nails? And so I'll show you what this looks like up close. So here's a close up of them and here's what the charms look like. They are so adorable and so cute. And then here are some ideals down here on the bottom. And then this is the little glue you get on the back side. So these are really, really fun and very easy to use. Mom friendly item. This is a mom friendly item. The next item I like to use to quickly create a design and not put a lot of effort into it would be these here. They're all different colored tapes and the strips are very, very fine. You can use these to design um, you could just put them across your nails all which kind of ways and do like a mosaic kind of look with different color tapes And I have a lot of different colors here and I picked these up for a little bit of nothing I think these were like a dollar and I ordered them online Another thing I think everyone should have should be dotting tools if you're going to be doing nail art designs, dotting tools are the keys. You can achieve a lot of great, cute, fun looks using these. And these here I picked up for like $1.50 with free shipping. And if I can find the link for these, I will put them below also. But the quality of these dotting tools are fabulous. And for $1.50, you get five different dotting tools on this side and then one small one that's universal across the bottom they're all the same size but nevertheless this is a really good find and i'm so glad i found this so okay so last but not least i'm going to show you our striper brushes or striper nail polish now it looks like this to show you it's just a really thin brush and this one actually comes with its own nail polish but you can just buy the brush individually these are really really great because you can achieve a lot of great cute looks using these little striper brushes and the ones I'm going to show you because they're just readily available are these that I just picked up for sinful colors for Halloween and they're so what's really cool about these is that actually this design I'm wearing right now um, I use just this and this to create that design and then like a basic flat mauve nail polish and it's like um, like how your skin is kind of sewn together like on Frankenstein kind of that's why I like this because it's like Halloween inspired and I've got so many compliments on this little simple nail art design and my inspiration came from Miss Jen Fabulous. I think that's her name if I have it right. Miss Jen Fabulous. She does the cutest nail art designs and I really do, I always thumbs up her videos because I always want her to continue to do them, to keep them coming because I think they're so, so fun and cute and I always get inspiration from watching her nail art designs. So yeah, Miss Jen Fabulous, if you wanna check her out, please do so. These are all the items I have in my toolkit that I wanted to share with all of you. Um, I've been using this toolkit consistently, all of these products for about a year, and I have to say my nails are healthy and strong even though I do beat them up and change my nail polish often. They see my nails seem to be very strong and I haven't had a lot of breakage. So that is awesome for me. That is a win for me. So I wanted to share all these products with you. I hope you enjoyed them. If you have any questions about anything that I've shown you, or if you have any suggestions on products I should try or add to my toolkit, please leave the comment below and I'll get back to you. So I just wanna say before I let you guys go, I am officially at 300 subscribers and every time I look at my channel, um, I noticed that my channel is just growing and growing and I wanted to give the people that are supporting me an opportunity to win some of my favorite products. So this is a few items that I would like to give back to all of you to say thank you for subscribing. I did not want to put giveaway in the title because if you're watching my videos and supporting me, you'll know that this is also a giveaway. <laughs> so what I would like to give to some one of my lucky subscribers would be 
this bonder here by Orly. This is my favorite bonder, as I stated, so I want to give someone the opportunity to try this. And then my favorite top coat, Alpha Door. This stuff is absolutely fabulous, so I want to give someone the opportunity to try this. And then I think every tool kit should have a great, a great set of dotting tools. So I wanted to give these dotting tools to someone. And then last but not least is a cuticle, nourishing cuticle pin. You can throw this in your purse and if you ever need a little TLC to your cuticles, whip this bad boy out, put it on your nails, and they just look so moisturized and conditioned. So I'm going to throw this in there too. So. These are the items I'm going to give to one person just to say thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel, supporting the channel, and watching me. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye!